Okay, welcome guys to your 2021 20, June So My Love reading. We already have the cards pulled, ready to go. We're going to start with your side over here and then take a look at your love interest. I do want to just make a disclaimer that I am only focusing on new love. So for those of you who are interested in new love, meaning it's a brand new person who you have never met in this lifetime. So let's take a look at your headspace. So we have the seven of cups coming out around your head space. So this is letting me know that I feel like some of you just feel in a state of confusion. Okay. Um, I'm getting options. So there could be maybe lots of people who you have your eyes on. So this could be maybe some of you are dating or you just have a very strong interest in a lot of individuals. There could be a lot of people who you feel that are, um, compatible with you or just that you would be interested in entertaining I see you seeing several different like things and qualities about people that are standing out to you um so I just kind of feel like I just heard like the floodgates are open so I, this could be maybe something newer to you like this makes me feel like some of you are getting back onto the dating scene or maybe you just all of a sudden had just like a gush of like individuals just come out of the woodwork showing interest in you so either way um, I'm just seeing that you have a plethora of options to choose from and I mean uh, you, you seem to have some really good picks here I mean because it has you up in your head just really like kind of overwhelmed but it also kind of feels like you're a kid in the candy store as well too so this could be something that you're really enjoying like getting all of this attention um, or just having so many different individuals to choose from i just feel like there's people of different caliber that you've never even dealt with before so i feel like that's also where some of the interest is coming from because i just feel like there's people that some of you are just doing something new so you could be dating outside of your race you could be dating outside of your age range um you could be dating outside of like maybe a certain type of status or maybe career type that you normally date i'm i'm um people in different types of communities or maybe like different types of communities or organizations or groups than you normally date through um <laughs> even some people who are just kind of like that you normally wouldn't give a try to is what i'm saying so i just kind of feel like this is either your options that you have or this is what you're feeling like you're just opening yourself to so some of you are are very much open to the concept of trying new people out who you've never given an opportunity before and then others of you just have a lot of individuals coming towards you varying from your usual type okay so let's look at this new love interest headspace so we have the oh yes look at this the five of wands see yes Th this is letting me know that you all have several options there are people going crazy over you all like <laughs> There are people um, competing to be with you. So yes, you have a lot of suitors who are wanting to get your attention is what I'm getting. So this definitely is a group of y'all where you have a lot of people who have come out of the woodworks like vying for you. So you are the hot commodity is what I'm getting um, because you got a lot of people. Look at this. Like there are people really trying to stand out to get your attention. So whatever you're doing i'm gonna say keep doing it because <laughs> you got a lot of people wanting you if that's something that you like but i also can um see that this may be kind of challenging and difficult for you as well too because you have so many people like so it could be a little bit overwhelming as well too this all of this um attention that you're getting i'm getting like it's like a lot of energy so there could be a lot of energy as well too um that's being dissipated because of this but yeah i just kind of feel like wh whoever the individuals because i definitely feel like it's multiple people whoever are the individuals that are interested in you yeah these people are they're competitive and they really want you okay i'm hearing may the best men win all right as far as how you're viewing these people <laughs> we have the eight of swords um I more so feel like this is how you feel in the situation with the Eight of Swords. This is more so like you kind of feeling, I feel like you feel, I'm hearing that you need to close yourself off. Maybe this is you feeling like you need to isolate yourself from all of this energy, all of this attention so you could kind of 
like navigate and figure out what you want, who you want, um, what would be your best interest. I feel like for some of you all, even though you may be enjoying this attention, this group of you all that I'm picking up on, you're very monogamous. So it's kind of, like I said, it feels kind of overwhelming for some of you to be getting all of this attention, especially all at once or just more than what you've had in a long period of time. Um, because it does really feel like you all are getting back on to the dating scene. I feel like this group of you, you haven't really been out there in a while. So I feel like you may be kind of like withdrawing and isolating yourself so you could just find some type of balance within yourself. So I feel like you may be getting kind of in your own way um, in this particular situation. I feel like that's how you're viewing these individuals. Um, I feel like it's kind of like you're, you're getting, you're kind of blocking yourself. I'm hearing blocking your blessings. So you might just want to be mindful of that as well too, because you, you could be getting in your own way. You could be overwhelming yourself. You could be overthinking, um, just kind of putting yourself in a, a self-imposed prison as well too, about what's going on instead of really just enjoying it or taking it a little bit more lightly. I see these this group of you all are very much up in your heads, up in your minds about it. But it also could just be the fact that, you know, you have so many good people who are, or, or people who have so many good qualities, or they just maybe, maybe it's, it's tough. Maybe it's tough competition and you feel like everyone is really compatible or very attractive or has amazing and wonderful traits that you would love to be with. So, I mean, that could be putting you in a bind as well too, just kind of feeling like, like, what do I do with all this? Where was all this when I, you know what I mean? Prior to, but like I said, whatever you're doing, keep doing because, you know, that's why you have all these options here now. As far as this, these individuals, oh my goodness, are you serious? We got the Prince of Pentacles, how these individuals are seeing you. I'm telling you, these people are seeing you as someone who they want long-term steady commitment with. Now, granted, for some of you, this could very well just be one person that just has very strong energy that is just going and really, you know, laying out, just laying it out and putting it out there that they want to be with you, um, fighting really hard for your attention and just making it very known like there's no competition, um, essentially just making themselves stand out and letting you know that there is not going to be any competition so this could be one person who's very assertive very aggressive who is really coming in trying to solidify being in your life but i feel like for a lot of you as well too this could definitely be several individuals so with that being said the prince of pentacles is just showing me that these individuals or if this is a person want something very long term and they want a solid commitment with you so i'm seeing this individual coming towards you with a very steady offer um that they're wanting to present to you i feel like this is something i'm hearing long time or long term in the making so this is something that someone has either been waiting for for a long time to be able to you know take a relationship to the next level or this is someone who has been waiting for a long time to give this to you specifically okay so this person may have had this person or these people may have had their eyes on you for some time is what it's letting me know for some of you and for others of you this is just a person or people who have been waiting a long time for to come into contact with someone like you all right so let's see what's blocking you mm, what's blocking you we have the king of cups energy interesting i'm hearing cock blocker <laughs> Some of y'all have a cock blocker. This could be a Scorpio individual um, who is cock blocking. Now, I don't know if this person is someone who is someone who you're, you're, wait, it might be someone who you know who's interested in you who's doing this, or it could just be like a friend or a family member or I don't know some other type of associates but this is definitely someone um a person who is cock blocking you is what i'm getting and they have strong water placement in their birth chart so just be mindful of that, that there could be someone who is i'm hearing greedy i'm hearing greedy 
So this could be someone who is very greedy, someone who's very selfish. When I'm hearing greedy, this is giving me like um, possessive energy. So this could be someone who is in your energy field who's very um, possessive. Like I said, I don't know if this is... I, I don't feel like it's, just, it's someone who you're with because... I mean, or it could be, I guess, for some of you, if you're dating and you have someone who you're interested or you're interested in dating new people, too. I mean, I guess if that's y'all thing, so maybe. But I more so feel like this could be maybe an ex or like a family member or a friend or someone else who just has a greedy nature is what I'm getting. So this also could be someone giving you unsolicited advice. Because I'm seeing how you're seeing these other individuals with the Eight of Swords. This could be someone giving you unsolicited advice that you're not even asking for when it comes to these people. This could be someone trying to come off like they have your best interests at heart. I'm looking at your headspace with the Seven of Cups being overwhelmed, having so many options, not knowing what decision to make. And then this King of Cups has this one cup. So this could be someone who you, you actually are confiding in and consulting um, for some of you. So you could be consulting and sharing your business with this person and this person could be actually intentionally steering you um, away from these people. Now, for some of you, like, let's say it's the best friend of yours who's always been interested in you, then that could be that, you know, why this person is doing that because they want you all to themselves. It could be a family member who could just be, I'm hearing, I'm hearing some interesting things about this person. So um, they could be jealous or wicked is what I'm getting. So this could be a jealous family member who is intentionally um, trying to steer you away from this. Now, I said the seven of cups for your headspace, the king of cups, that would be eight of cups. That, that would mean that you would be moving on or moving away from this person or moving in a direction that's new. So I feel like whoever this is, they have an interest in not seeing you move forward. So that could be why they're not giving you good advice. That could be why they're trying to get in your head. Um, trying to project onto you. Um, I'm going to clarify this person because interesting energy. Um, first, let me take a look at these people to see what is blocking them. Oh, shoot. They got the Queen of Swords. Wow. So whoever these individuals are or whoever this person is has a Queen of Swords blocking them. Now, this is someone's ex is what I'm getting. This person's ex could have strong Librian qualities or Librian placements in their birth chart. That is crazy. So you both or you and all these individuals, both blockages are individuals, essentially third party people who have nothing to do with this connection. Putting their two cents in is what I'm seeing. So I'm actually going to clarify both sides. Oh, yes. I'm actually going to clarify both sides. But this strongly came out. Whoever this is over here, this is definitely X. This King of Cups person, I don't quite know. But like I said, this person is trying to make it seem like they have your best interest at heart. I don't think that's the case, though. Unless this is someone who you all still kind of have some feelings for. And it's kind of hard for you to move on. And then this person is trying to pop back up in your life and make it seem like they want to be with you so that could be the thing like I said it could be an ex it could be someone who is showing interest in you all of a sudden and now maybe this got you confused because it's like now you got all these other people or you got this person and now you got this ex person who's trying to profess their love to you so whatever um let's take a look and see look yeah on your side Oh my goodness. Okay, so on your side, clarifying the King of Cups, we got the King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. And then on the bottom of the deck, look, we got the Six of Cups and the Princess of Swords. So, yeah, this definitely could be an ex for some of y'all or just someone, I guess, who maybe has had interest in you. Maybe this is someone where you, when you had interest in them, they didn't have interest in you if you never was with this person. Um, or it's an ex all of a sudden, but this is letting me know somebody's wanting to work on something with you. Someone's wanting to work something out with you. 
so I'm seeing this person coming back in all of a sudden trying to <laughs> I'm hearing throw a monkey wrench so because of the fact that we had the six of cups on the bottom and the princess of swords is letting me know this person has been watching you so this person is very much aware that you're moving on that you're you know wanting to find new love maybe this is something you're giving off maybe this is something that you're posting on social media um or maybe this person is just keeping tabs on you asking questions about you to other people and getting you know asking your family your friends your co-workers you know really just snooping and being nosy all up in your business trying to see what's going on because i mean they're keeping they're keeping tabs on you with the, the prince of, um prince of princess of swords so this person's definitely all up in your business and i feel like this person senses that you know you have they have competition or there is competition or there is people that you're interested in that you're gonna be moving on moving forward so i feel like whoever this is like i said whether it's romantic or not this person is all of a sudden trying to post some type of um option to you because they're wanting to essentially like keep you close they don't want you to go far they want to show that they want to work out with you um i just find it very interesting all of a sudden that you know when you have all these people come into your life whoever this is you know is wanting to act right you know what i'm saying they, they want to be able to help you they want to provide for you they want to be this loyal dependable reliable person and come up in this energy and not to say that they're not and that you know people can't change i just think it's very interesting it's something you should consider especially since it's coming up as a block for you it's not saying that you should or you shouldn't i'm just saying this person is is coming up in this energy um i'm hearing sinister so i just feel like whoever this is they don't even have good intentions for doing this they're just they just don't want to see you move on like i said for some of you this is going to be someone who has romantic interest in you for some of you it's going to be someone else who just doesn't want to see you move on and move forward I just feel like someone just doesn't want to see you do better than them or they just don't want to see you leave and now all of a sudden I just feel like yeah with the three of pentacles that shows that somebody wants to work together with you so if that's the case then that means somebody wasn't acting right before and now all of a sudden someone wants to know how to wants to act like they know how to um like they got it all together you know what I mean it's like yeah someone wants to prove that they have it all together all of a sudden like it's like now it clicks all of a sudden because you're moving on or that just happens to be timing wise like this this person just perfectly seems to come right in the moment you're about to move on that's crazy yeah it's like it all of a sudden hits this person who you are what you mean to them i'm just looking at other cards yeah this person yeah this person has some codependent issues meaning that yeah meaning that this person um they just want to be attached to you for whatever reason it's either they just want to be attached to you because of whatever you have going on or this person just doesn't want to see you move on just put it like that and I'm just getting all of a sudden someone's going to want to try to provide you some type of means of help or resources that they were not providing to you before. Someone's all of a sudden going to be able to do something that they were not able to do before, which is um, something that you should all be mindful of. Because it shouldn't take someone, you know, bossing up or realizing their sense of self-worth or setting, you know, parameters or boundaries for someone to realize how important someone is and significant is that should be you know something that people are just actively practicing at all times but it seems like this person whoever this is who's trying to block you all trying to sh act like they love you and have they they have your best interest at heart um just be mindful of that now let's clarify this individual's person oh lord okay so a few things coming in so this queen of swords we have the empress and we have the ace of swords so i feel like for some of you all um it's definitely going to be an ex okay this could be someone's ex-wife um ex-spouse this could just be someone who someone has is co-parenting with who is 
bitter because she's coming up as the queen of swords and in the blockage space so she could be a bitter co-parent or he could be a bitter co-parent um is what i'm seeing and i'm and i'm getting giving the love away now also for some of y'all this may be someone's mother who has um control issues is what i'm getting yeah I feel like this person can already tell how significant you are to whoever this is who's coming towards you or whoever these people are coming towards you. So I just feel like that's going to be something that you have to deal with or not. I mean, you don't have to be with these people, um, but it's something to be aware of. It's like this person I'm hearing. I'm already hearing this person is like, I'm not going to fight fair. <laughs> now that doesn't mean that this person has anything to do with you it's just maybe it's how they deal with whoever is coming towards you so this could be someone who has some type of weird dynamic with their parent or the co-parent or an ex-spouse or something like that it's, it's it's almost like someone who doesn't want to lose their position this is someone who whoever this is that you're dealing with they allow them to have some type of free reign in their life to say whatever they want to or um i don't know maybe to do whatever they want to maybe this whoever this is runs all over this individual over here um because this person is sitting in a, a very comfortable position with their their energy being in this um queen of swords energy and the queen of swords is not really um I mean, she don't really get a good reputation for the most part because she can just be very cutthroat, um, dry, straight to the point. Um, the good qualities about her, this energy is, it is a, a very protective energy, but because it's coming up in the blockage, I just feel like this could be someone who could cut for no reason. Like they could say little snide comments for no reason. Um just someone who could be nasty for no reason i'm getting like a mean girl mean guy that's what i'm getting someone who just doesn't like people you know what i mean it's like you don't even have to do anything you could be the best person in the world have the cleanest records and best reputation and this person is still going to just find some reason to not like someone that's what i'm getting so that's for some of you um and then for others of you like i said it could just be someone who just is not willing to let go of whatever I'm hearing entitlement, whatever type of position that they once held. So this person could have entitlement issues. And that's because whoever this is coming towards you has allowed this person to feel that way or to do that to them. So this is going to be a very rude awakening um, when this individual shows interest in you or comes towards you or brings you home <laughs> or whatever this is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be a very rude awakening to this individual. Mm -hmm. Let's get more. I got the the eight of wands. Hmm. I just feel it's something with this person's mouth. And I feel it's coming your direct <laughs> it's coming your direction. So this could be someone saying something towards you. Which is the interesting thing. Or maybe this person is trying to reach you or trying to contact you. It's something weird like that. So it's, it's either this person's going to try to make attempts to communicate with you or this person's going to say something maybe to try to like hurt you. Is what I'm getting. Hmm. 
Now, if they're not saying this directly to you, I feel like some of you, they will, whoever this person is, they, they will try to do this directly towards you. It could be that they're making these snide remarks and comments towards whoever the person is who's coming towards you. It's like they're trying to get into this person's mind to keep them from leaving. So that could be that as well, too. So both of y'all have essentially haters family member friends exes or something who have um like they have self-control issues mm. oh lord got the road card came out <sighs> I mean, this also could be just this person saying something negative about whoever you're with. So for some of you, they may try to say something towards you or reach out to you or whatever. For others of you, this definitely could be um, someone who is going to say, put something out about whoever you're with. So this could be someone trying to make this individual look bad, look toxic is what I'm getting. Um, it could be someone trying to like ruin their reputation. yeah I feel like someone's oh yeah some this person's gonna try to say something negative about whoever I'm telling you this person this person goes low I got the rope the strength card whoever y'all are dealing with may got significant placements of leo in their birth chart because i'm getting something like with someone's image this person saying something in a very public manner in a public platform in front of the world on the internet or something like that and i feel like yeah someone is trying to hurt someone's reputation is what i'm getting it's like someone's trying to make someone look a certain type of way because it's like someone knows that I don't know it's just something with image here what I'm seeing with the strength card and the Leo energy someone knows that someone's Im image is heavily tied up into how they are perceived or that someone really cares or that that's their confidence is very tied up into how other people see them so I feel like someone is going to use that to the disadvantage of whoever this person is coming towards you it's like someone's playing off of someone's weakness yeah i'm hearing this person is salty but behind the scenes this person is stressed out so they're coming off looking like they don't care like they're unbothered but behind the scenes this person is having mental um anguish behind whatever is going on whoever whoever this queen of swords is yeah this person is very sad obviously because of if someone would attempt to do something like that you know so that's that what's blocking them um we want to say a little prayer for y'all all right, what action you want to take? We have the High Priestess. And what action your people want to take? <laughs> we have the Three of Swords. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, interesting thing is, for some of you all, your person or the people who want to come towards you, they, I guess they're, so in something with this person they're still in a relationship or i'm hearing contract or i don't know they're, they're still doing something with this individual in some way so i don't know if they still have business together or they're still living together or maybe obviously if they have kids together then they still have to deal with each other in that manner um or maybe this person is still married going through a divorce from this person because i'm getting this three of swords is more so like the action this person is wanting to take it's like whatever 
their feeling towards you probably on top of whatever this person says or does over here is going to make this person want to officially be done with whoever this queen of swords is whether this is a mother a father a sibling um a best friend co-worker um or a like co-parent or something like whatever this person does they're gonna officially sever ties with whoever that is because i'm hearing last straw so maybe this person has been getting on this individual's nerve anyways um and that's gonna be it for this person hmm yeah because i'm getting this person is definitely going to sever ties with this individual i feel like for you all i'm just really getting like you're just kind of like going within to yourself whoever you you all are you seem to be very wise very spiritual you seem to have some type of um like insight like you you i feel like you're very confident in who you are um you could know some things as well too is what i'm getting like like just intuitively know some things so i just feel like you feel there's no reason for you to even like trip over this because i just feel like you know all is going to be well when it's all said and done um but i'm just getting off of a confident energy like you're, like you're maintaining your sense of silence um is what i'm getting like you're, you're not going to really do anything i maybe maybe you're also just kind of waiting and just allowing things to play out um and not just really getting involved so that could be that as well too you could just be not saying anything and not getting involved Hmm. But the high priestess doesn't really do anything. She feels, she, she, she feels, you know, she perceives. She allows herself to be guided by what she knows and she trusts in her inner wisdom and guidance. And I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, you're not going to disclose it. <laughs> you're not disclosing whatever it is. So obviously it's not meant to be disclosed at this point in time. So whatever you choose to do, well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, you know, because you're not choosing to disclose that for some of you maybe you're just doing nothing maybe you're just remaining silent but nonetheless you're keeping it to yourself whatever action you're going to take um this three of swords could also be playing out maybe outwardly in a major way so maybe this is something that happens in front of other people maybe this is something that other people get to see so maybe that's why this is coming up for whoever you're um person is coming towards you because it's something that's very much happening where others can see this what's going to be the outcome we have the three of cups so there is going to be something worth celebrating there is going to be something that um brings joy it's going to bring happiness um i feel like it's going to be good energies and good vibes between the two of you so you're going to come to some type of agreement that's going to make both of you happy um so i feel like there's finding some type of middle ground middle road like I said, I feel everything is going to work out for you all. So that's all the messages that I have for you. We are going to just say a quick little prayer, though. So I just want to say thank you, God, for just covering and watching and protecting over these individuals who are coming into union, who are deciding to choose each other. I thank you, God, for protecting them from exterior outside parties and sources who don't have their best intentions at heart that means is only to try to separate divide and conquer and um, keep these individuals apart um, or to just kind of infringe on these individuals um, beautiful connection relationship or union and I just ask that you just continue that to just keep a circle um, a bubble a shield of privacy and protection around these individuals and allow them to work things out amongst themselves without the external in interference of people who don't know what these individuals feel think smell <laughs> you know soulfully feel between the two of them um i love you i thank you i praise you for doing this work immediately in jesus christ's name amen if you'd like to get a booking with me, you can go to www.divinelotustarot.com.